Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So as it turns out, I have a few watches. If you've, if you've ever watched anything, so I have a few watches if you've ever watched. And one of the watches I like best is Garmin. Garmin makes awesome watches and I've collected a few over the years, which is good and bad. The bad thing is I can't wear them all. I've tried. I, I once wore 11 gadgets for 10 days and that was annoying <laughs> and it's not that accurate. So what about storage? Can you store gadgets without doing any harm? And I wanted to try that with the Garmin Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar. This is not the OEM band. This is by a company called Hemsut and yeah nice little orange band very colorful so back on october 26 2022 at 9 55 a.m the watch was at 26 percent and it was really low so i haven't i didn't really wear it every day since 9 11 but sorry since 10 11 and plugged it in at 10 02 and by 11 54 it was at 90, it was at 99 percent. So that's pretty good. It, it charges relatively quickly for how big of a battery it is. So it got to 99 percent. I turned it off. Boom. Now fast forward to today. So from 1026 to 1123, just shy of one month later, what's the battery life? Let's find out. So we're going to turn this on together. Okay, here we go. You ready? Right? Yeah, it's not going to be one of those videos. So we'll turn this on. Oh my gosh, please don't be dead. That would make for a bad video. Oh, shoot. The batter goes dead and... It is not turning on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Did I accidentally turn it on and forget it? Crap. You know, I didn't want to do a test run because then it kind of ruins the whole point. One thing is for sure, it is a sapphire lens and it's perfect but it is not turning on. Luckily, I brought my charging cable. There we go, it's turning on now. You know what? I am so embarrassed. I had it on backwards. I had the band on backwards and I wasn't really focusing on the lettering. I was not pressing the power button. So now it's powering up so we can unplug it. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. Actually I can, I, I can believe I did that. Oh, that uh, two terabyte drive. Yeah, that's for another video. Okay, here we go. So boot it up, 1549, scroll down, 100%. So it actually went up somehow. I don't know how it went up in battery percent, but it did. It was at 99% when I turned it off nearly a month ago. I should have just waited three more days, but I've been dying to wear this because they came out with some updates and now I get the morning report. Who doesn't want a morning report, right? Wow, that's really good. So it didn't go down at all. It didn't lose not even 1%, and somehow it gained. So right now, in battery saver mode, we're looking at 90 days of battery life. Wow, that is amazing. So now we'll take it out of battery saver mode. Oh no, we only have 25 days left? And did it keep the time? Yes, it did. Wow, that's awesome so not only did it keep the right time but it also kept the right date and it didn't go down in battery life whatsoever 
And just like that, it's measuring my heart rate. The only thing that's been damaged on this watch is I was taking a photograph in Lake Tahoe, actually shooting some video, and I put this on a boulder in Lake Tahoe, and it was, you know, sloshing around with the waves, and yeah. Well, cool. I will count this as a success, <laughs> even though I didn't turn on the watch. Wow, that's embarrassing. This is my, what, 12th Garmin watch, and I couldn't read start, stop to power. Oh, my gosh. JP, you're probably laughing right now because... Well, now we're going to put it on, and I'm going to wear it. So now we can take off the Venue 2 Plus, which honestly, it is more comfortable to wear. I mean, if you compare the size difference, it's really night and day. And I know this is weird, but I can't wear the Phoenix on my right wrist because there's something about really large watches on my right wrist and it just doesn't feel good. Even if it's like a 45 millimeter, this one's 51, so that doesn't work. And the hem set band is real easy. You just slide it through here, and then it has really strong Velcro. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Not, not just the band, I, I just, I love the large screen. If they could make the Venue 2 Plus in like a 45, so it matches the same size as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I would love that. Garmin for the Venue 2 3 Plus. Let's do that. All right. Cool. It is working. It will synchronize all the data. So let's see if it has any synchronization issues. Is it an airplane mode still? Yes, it is. So the whole time... It was an airplane mode. Just turned airplane mode off. Bluetooth is on. Let's see if it automatically connects. There we go. Synchronizing. So it's synchronizing the Venue 2 Plus and the Phoenix Sapphire Solar, even though the watch hasn't synchronized since October 26th. That's impressive. Uh, I don't know if you watched the other video, but I was having some Bluetooth issues on this Venue 2, and they just went away somehow. I, I think it was an incompatibility with the OnePlus 9 Pro. For some reason, it synchronizes better with the OnePlus 10T. Who knew? Who knew? All right. We'll end there, and I'll let you know about the morning report very soon. But the main thing and the main purpose of this video was one thing. Can you store garments for a long period of time? And the answer is yes. I should have stopped at around 75 or 80 percent, but I was uh, doing other tasks and I just forgot and it, you know, charges pretty quickly and before I knew it, it was above 90. Um, that's what I've read that Garmin and other manufacturers recommend that you store devices around that 75, 80 percent. If you feel differently, pithy comments, type those down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have more on Garmin devices and how other devices store very, very soon. And don't forget to run farther to go further in life. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Hemset for sending me the watch band. So far, so good. Goodbye.